Over the last five years, I've been running a big research programme called Religion and Society, which is a huge £12 million investment by the research councils to try and improve our understanding of religion. And the findings were really fascinating. So I was then faced with the issue of, well, how do we get these out to a broader audience might be interested in this, you know, not just academics? Uh, what we did, I uh, worked with Charles Clark, former Home Secretary, who's a visiting professor at Lancaster University, and we decided to take some of the most interesting research, particularly ones relating to key topics, controversial topics today about religion in public life, and to present that on, the, on a stage, if you like, in, in the heart of London, in Westminster, call it the Westminster Faith Debates, and really see what would happen. Uh, we were a bit uh, uncertain because people often say it's a very secular country, you shouldn't talk about religion too much and people just aren't interested. But uh, on the contrary, we found that there was huge interest in it. We were astonished. I mean, we filled a large room in Westminster for seven debates. Uh, more than that, we got incredible interest from the press. All the national dailies covered it, uh, the BBC, uh, a lot of international journalism covered it as well. We've got pages and pages on our website of press coverage. So there seemed to be this enormous appetite to talk more openly and more intelligently about religion. And we covered all sorts of topics ranging from how much religious freedom should there be, uh, should we have faith schools in this society, are we still a multicultural society? Has that experiment worked? Those sorts of quite pressing topics. Given the success, we've decided to do another series in 2013, and we're going to be looking at religion in personal life. And we're going to be running through hatch, match, dispatch, you know, the whole course of life. So starting off with issues like um, contraception, abortion, and then moving right through to euthanasia at the end of life. And we hope for some, uh, some more success, some more interest, and again, to raise the level of conversation about religion in this country.